police station in Belgium recently discovered a lost interview with the Catholic priest considered the founder of the Big Bang Theory. Eh bien, pas très facile de répondre à cette question parce que well, this interview right here is from February 1964. VRT Television said the discovery was like finding a needle in a haystack in it. Father Georges Lamatra explains what the origin of the universe may have been like. Up until now, only photographs of the Belgian priest had been preserved. And we go now to Chris Graney, astronomer and historian with the Vatican Observatory. Chris, great to see you as always. Um, first off, curious, what was your reaction when you heard about this discovery of this interview? I thought it was really cool. It was really neat to see him, on, to see uh, Father Lamacha on video and uh, to hear his voice. And so it was really a, it was really a, a, a neat discovery that they made. Yeah, and for those who aren't familiar with him, can you tell us a little bit more about Father and, you know, how he was able to combine faith and science? So he, he is uh, a, both a priest and a physicist. Um, he is best known for his contribution to our you know, the scientific theory for the origin of the universe, which, you know, most people know as the Big Bang Theory, although that's not the that's not the name he gave to it. That name was given by somebody else, and uh, kind of as an insult term, really. And he looked at Ein, Albert Einstein's theory of relativity and considered, hey, you know, looking at this theory, the universe does not appear to be eternal and unchanging, which is the scientific view that existed pretty much prior to Lemaitre, is that the universe had always existed, um, was pretty much the same throughout time, and had no beginning and would have no end. That's an idea that dates all the way back into the ancient Greeks to Aristotle, for example, essentially views the universe as having been eternal and having no beginning and will have no end. Yeah, and Chris, can we talk specifically, you know, about the interview now? Uh, what were your thoughts when you saw it? Were there any maybe new tidbits or information that was previously unknown or unreported? Um, what the couple things that struck me about the interview was, um, and and happily there is an English uh, translation that was done by a, a couple of folks associated here with the Vatican Observatory, and uh, the things that struck me is Lemaitre directly talking about the idea of the universe being static, that that, that that was the idea that had previously dominated. And then also his um, conversation about Fred Hoyle. And uh, Fred Hoyle is the person who came up with the term Big Bang Theory. Um, Hoyle rejected the idea that the universe had a beginning. Um, there's a lot of people who, who look at the Big Bang Theory and they think the, there used to be a billboard in my town. It was an anti-Big Bang billboard put up by a religious group. And people think think of it, you know, as a challenge to uh, religious ideas. But in fact, in in the scientific world, it was viewed as sort of a, an intro, a scientific introduction of the idea of a created universe. And Fred Hoyle came up with this term Big Bang. Uh, kind of as a dismissive term. And to see that directly mentioned in the in the interview, I thought was very interesting. Yeah, and you know, a lot of people don't know about, as you mentioned before, Father, I mean, this was new to me. Um, what do you think we can learn from him and also from finding this interview? Well, I think that um, the important thing to know about uh, Lemaitre is the fact that the big, the big, what we call the Big Bang Theory now, was developed by a Catholic priest, a, a person who was a person of faith, just like, for example, the science of genetics was developed by Gregor Mendel, who was a, an Augustinian friar. Um, that's what I would think of as like a major takeaway. And now with this video, you can say, oh, this is what this man looked like and sounded like, and uh, here's his mannerism and so forth. Yeah, it really is incredible. What a, what a wonderful discovery. Chris, always great to be with you. Thanks so much for coming on. Thanks for your interest in this stuff.